Hey guys, got another project here. We're going to set up a marine fuel tank to do gravity bleed so that I can hook it up to a Briggs and Stratton 8 horsepower engine and increase the fuel capacity on it. Um, this tank actually has to have, a, you know, obviously has to have a fuel pump of some sort to pull fuel out the top. Well, it won't work with the setup that I have, so I'm going to modify it to make it a gravity bleed fuel tank. Um, this is something that I'm going to do for myself. I highly recommend that uh, you don't do it the way I did it. Matter of fact, don't do it at all. Um, this is something for entertainment only. If you do decide to do this, it is fully up to you and your responsibility. Um, so that being said, well, I'll show you what I did. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and find out where the center of the uh, the fuel fill hole is, mark it on the opposite side, five and a half inches. So we're going to get that mark. So this is where I'm going to drill my hole to get it to where when I run my fastener in this way, I can line it straight up and, and actually get it hooked in or tightened up. That's kind of what I'm going for there. This is the setup that I'm going to use to get all this uh, rigged up. Kind of went to, went to my local hardware store and told them what I was trying to figure out and uh, one of the knowledgeable guys helped me figure this out and kind of put some stuff together. We'll see how it goes. I've got a couple of Stainless washers, a couple gaskets, seal on both sides of the tank. This part here is actually, uh, no, that's not it. Yeah, I don't have it on there. This is a light fixture uh, threaded. Forgot what to call that thing now. Anyway, it's not even for what I'm using it for. So, but it works. Um, and I got an assortment of hex nuts give me what I needed for the rest of it then I've got a cutoff valve to cut fuel off to the tank and a 90 degree angle fitting a little barb fitting there to put the fuel line on so these are all the components I'm going to be working with had to modify my washer a little bit for the inside because it wouldn't quite go through the hole so change that a little bit and I'm gonna put the fatter gasket that I have on the uh, inside and then I'll double up the ones on the outside that's why I actually had three of these little rubber gaskets so what I'm gonna do or try to do anyway attempt to do is fish this guy down in there and run it up to the through the hole there and then this is what I'll have for fuel on the inside uh, let's see just how successful I am at doing this actually I have a better idea I have the world's longest screwdriver Push it.
there you go. Well, there's your fitting, now, although you may not be able to tell the uh, I tried to keep as little of the pipe sticking up into the tank as I could so that I would make sure I got all the fuel available in the gas can with the exception of eh, maybe a eighth of a gallon at the most, just a little bit of residual that's in the bottom of the can. It may not siphon out because the fitting sits up inside the tank just a little bit. But uh, you know, that way you'll get everything you can out of the fuel tank. Okay, the next thing we're gonna want to do is take the uh fitting so we wrap it up good with a whole lot of Teflon wrap it in the direction that you're going to turn the fitting so that we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try to un it won't make a mess out of the Teflon tape And there, my friends, is a gravity feed fitting put on a tank, a marine tank, and hopefully I'm going to put some fuel in it and let it set and see if I got any leaks, but hopefully I don't. And what I'm planning on doing with it, something along the lines of that going to not use the factory tank that's on it because it's only a one gallon and this is hold six. I'm going to mount it up on a, a, little, a little tray up above the uh, generator to feed the generator. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video.